from you know who playing gigs when we can trying to impress our fans older sister goes berserk her temper is her biggest perfect on a planet might just work now we're gonna rock and we're gonna chance happening and this just in statue steve is a fraud the man we thought was a performer pretending to be a statue is a real statue in response to this shocking news the entire town has chosen to riot in a blind rage rightly so says this reporter rightly so I thought that statue was a real guy. What a lying jerk. Maybe he isn't real, but his prime piece of real estate sure is. Statue Steve had the best outdoor performance spot in town, and now that spot is up for grabs. That could be us. Oh boy, I hope so. Wicked cool transition. Playing outside all day for a hat full of change. Cheering folks up on their way to that job they hate. Yep, it's the busker's life for us. But we still need a song to busk with. Obviously. Luckily, Trina's already here getting her portrait painted by hunky Nick Mallory. Guess she had five bucks to burn. Scoozy, Corey Clueless, Nick's like a real artiste or whatever, Kay. He doesn't charge money. Nick digs art for art's sake, and he really needs his model to stay still. Model? <laughs> the countdown to diary launch has begun. Anyone else feel the cold, silent stare of impending doom? <laughs> It's just a creepy mime. Uh, what's he saying? He's probably trapped in a box or something. Weird. I wonder what he wanted. You're standing on it. Oh, hey, Sausage Barney. Them mimes been waiting to take Statue Steve's busking spot there for nearly eight half decades. Now you kids are standing on it, your knees won't be unbroke for long. Mimes are rough out here. There's plenty of park to go around. Besides, who's afraid of a harmless mime? Careful, Corey. These mimes mime hotter than any mimes I ever saw. Bah, mime schmime. I totally can't wait to see how extra super beautiful I look through your super beautiful eyes. I bet it's like so mega gorge, it'll be worth like a gorgillion bucks, and you'll be famous for drawing it, and I'll be famous for being worth so much. Nick would destroy his portrait in a fiery rage before he'd sell it. Right, I forgot. Hashtag integrity. <laughs> gorgillion dollar painting. This is our busking spot. So if those creepy mimes want us to leave, they'll have to make us. Look at them. It's like they think we can't see them sneaking up on us. <laughs> Go ahead, mime. Do your invisible worst. Is that the best you got? Waking up and getting dressed? Oh, look. Now he's making toast. Ooh, and he could read the paper! And sit comfortably on an imaginary... Actually, that's pretty good. It's like there really is a chair there. Bro, you smell something? <laughs> Mr. Mime, I think your toast is burning. Weird. How can I smell that? Huh? Ah! Oh, no! They've got Kim! How? The rope is fake! Then how am I being dragged away? You break Ken, you buy him! What just happened? Legend has it, if a mime can make you believe in him, their mimery becomes... real! And it's only a matter of time before... your turn! Ah, looks like your friends are infected with... Dude, I can't handle any more dramatic pauses. Sorry. They got mime disease. The only cure is making a sound. And mimes don't do that. It's their thing. Barney, you gotta help us. Oh, sausage. Where's the mustard? Wait, there's nothing there. <gasps> no, Barney, not you too. <gasps> Get your mimed meat away from me. Laney and I will never believe. Corey, I found the mustard. No! Corey sounds totally sad. <gasps> and I'm not there to mock him. Nick thinks your pain is true and therefore beautiful. Don't worry, guys. 
I'll snap you out of that creepy mime spell. It's just a matter of time. Oh, you're gonna wait me out while you read a fake book, eh? What am I gonna do? Think, Cory, think. That's it! I'll jam out a tune and get Ken, Con, and Lainey to sing along. That'll totally cure them of their mime disease. Now, about those lyrics. Of course! Thank you, kind sir. Wait a minute! You want me to leave so you can steal my spot! Nice try, mime. <sighs> How can I get to Trina without leaving the spot unguarded? Aha! Almost done. <gasps> what a breathtaking manifestation of truth and beauty. I will never cry another tear. I use wicked expensive conditioner. Let me see it. Whatever, mother. <gasps> Mom, I'm sorry for everything ever. Hot dog, that's a beauty. I can finally cross over to the other side. Let go to the M to the G, let me Finny! Hey, not bad. I'll take it. Name your price. Any price to sell out. Side on this fine pay. A uh, day. No way. Nick Mallory is no sellout. No! Shame. Nick was totally gonna hang that in his locker. And ready to rock! Hold on, something's missing. The instruments! But I locked the door! Oh man, they snuck in through the window! That's it! I can play air guitar! But I gotta give in fully and believe in the power of mime! Okay, mime sausage, make me a believer. Hmm, should have eaten it warm. Still good, though. When I say quiet, you say noise. Quiet. Quiet. When I say quiet, you say noise. Quiet. Quiet. There's no gag on you girls and boys. Quiet. Quiet. Make that sound that your voice enjoys. Quiet! Noise! Quiet! Noise! Don't just sit inside that box. Seize the day and make sure it rocks. Quiet! Noise! Quiet! Noise! You can be loud, so let it out. Just scream and yell and sing. No one can stop you, so don't have a doubt. Now scream! Yeah! Sausages are on me! Now who's outnumbered, Mimey? Does he have a treehouse in there? We won! We beat the mimes! Yeah, I'd say we earned this spot. Right, Cor? Lanes, I just realized that this spot isn't nearly as cool as the spot we already have. What do you say we go home to our garage, gang? This just in, Statue Steve really is a human statue after all. Or at least he used to be, before he died and was torn apart by a mob following our false news report. <laughs> 
mobs. So now a statue is being erected to honor Steve as a hero to those who pretend to be statues. Also in park news, a cool young portrait artist destroys hundreds of his own paintings rather than sell them. The bidding war has climbed into the Gorgillions. What was that about? Did we miss something when we were mimes? Guys, we all miss something when we keep quiet. Our own voice. And in the end, isn't our voice all we really have? Our thoughts turned into sound as we exhale through the vibrating meat chamber that is the human throat. And when it comes down to it, there really is no amount of invisible sausage worth losing your voice over. What? There was invisible sausage? Oh. Thanks for coming out, everyone. Hey, folks, have you ever wanted to fuse a waffle with a bunch of fish eggs? No. Well, now you can. Wow. Fuse This Fusion Restaurant opens tonight, featuring magic or science-powered fusion fusers that can literally fuse two foods into one. The food mashup idea comes from the mind of music mashup master, DJ Fusion. Yeah, I'll mix musics to make the new sounds. With food mixer, flavors are combination. You eat. What about a frog and some peanut butter? The mixer combines anything. Oh, I want a spaceship pig. DJ Fusion opened a restaurant? Why not? He can mash up anything. He invented hip hopra, mood metal, and unplugged techno. I don't get mashups. Some things just don't belong together, like cats and dishwashers. But mashups are the will of the mighty gods of Rock Lippin. <laughs> Lyricles, the king of songwriting, and Shredisius, the guitar master. Huge enemies with different sounds. Enemies or not, the gods knew that their music would fit together. So the gods melded their sounds with a blast of rock lightning. And the first ever mashup of two songs was the biggest hit in Rock Olympian history. Mashup? Enemies? Hit? That gives me an idea. Crush Band needs a mashup. Let's open the garage door and see if anything gets dramatically revealed. Yes! Mashup, anyone? <gasps> The Newmans! Chance and Buzz here at the opening of Fuse This for the arrival of local celebrity, hunky Nick Mallory. Nick was the first person to mash up the high five with the fist bump to create the bump. Fumps up, Peaceville. Who's first? Me! Touch my head! Ah! <sighs> I am touching Nick's hand tonight, even if it ruins everything for everyone forever! And here is DJ Fusion now. A DJ Fusion mashup is gonna raise our cool factor for sure. Don't you mean our cool factor? And there's your sign of things to come. Say it, it. Yeah! Shh! You have lettuce? Boring. I hate you, lettuce. Make lettuce shaking hands with candy bar. Waste my time, coconut. I command you. Join with turkey dinner. DJ Fusion combines all things. Applause now. That thing can fuse my hand with Nick's. Like forever, ever. <gasps> I just fused forever with another ever. Super, uber smart, Trina. Don't try to do my word things, Mina. It's pathetic attic. Corey, fuse get with out of here and then do that. No way. I've got to talk DJ Fusion into making a wicked mashup with Garage Band and the Newmans. What's more mashable than us and the anti-us? I'm the anti-you, Corey. And check this. No way you're ruining my mega romantic evening of DNA Fusion with Nick Mallory. Whatever. Thumbs up, sis. Dump the sibling love, Mina. Weak. Um, about this Nick Fusion, do you think it'll work? Nope, but I know what I'm willing to do to test it. <laughs> DJ Fusion, your mashups are legend, but have you ever mashed up two enemy bands? You can mash up our hate into a song everyone loves. The Newmans featuring Garage Band. You mean Garage Band featuring the Newmans? DJ Fusion is already master. Why two combining two bands that are the same band? Looks at you. What? what? We're totally different. Yeah, we're really good. Yeah, we're really good. Yeah, we're really good. What's the plan, Trina? <laughs> Yay! The mixer totally worked! Booze! Cory survived. Apple juice sandwich? You know I'm allergic to crap!
crusts. Don't be gross, Mina. This just in. I'd like a mint. We're DJ Fusion's sickest mashup ever. Two bands literally mashed into one. And if our organs don't fail, we want to play here tonight. Deal. You are DJ Fusion's masterpiece. Living me mashup band. He will make you famous. How are we going to use the washroom? Never mind that. We got the gig. Okay, time to write some lyrics. Text you guys when I'm done. Um, yeah, I'll text you guys when I'm done. Uh, writing lyrics. Can't wait! Gravy Cake, you're one of a kind. Nick Mallory digs that. Fumps up. Get your camera! I want to picture the moment Nick and I are fused together! Where's my camera? Uh-oh. <gasps> Ew! Your polish fused with my nails! So uncool forever! But mermaid blue is this year's it color. This year is so last season. Our songs have to be opposites. We'll have the awesome one. Burn! Oh, yeah? Well, our song's gonna be the most wicked ever. Okay, then. Where do you get your inspiration from? Uh, books, mostly. Books are cool. Uh-huh. Well, I'm going to start writing. You can have the hands when I'm done. So, what do we do now? Ice cream! <laughs> Chocolate, chocolate swirl. We always get chocolate, chocolate swirl. Connie and me too. Not cool. So, Larry, do you ever always tell Carrie her ideas won't work, but she never listens, and you nearly get killed or burned down the town, but she never says you were right? Yeah. What is up with that? <laughs> <laughs> Look who found new paddle pals. I think they're taking this whole sharing a heart thing too far. I can't stay mad at Carrie. I want to, but I'm just crushing too hard. I know. I wish Cory wasn't so cute. Does Carrie know you like her? Are you kidding? Way to come out of your shell, Lobster Melon. Let's fump. Back off! Can't you see I'm about to fuse with Nick? Oh, no. Nick's going for less weird soup tacos. You've had the hands for hours. Why aren't you writing? I don't really work that way. I just wait until inspiration hits. Hurry up! The gig's in ten minutes! I'm freaking out! Yeah, I hear that a lot. Being stuck to someone is fun! Lies! I've had enough, dude. Let's rock this gig and break up the band before I get crusty. Bingo! That's how we get Trina to go diary. What? Go diary? Quick, plug your other head's ears. Huh? If breakfast every morning has taught me one thing, it's that Trina's allergic to bread crusts. And she's trying to fuse hands with Nick Mallory. All we have to do is give Nick a crusty quality, and then she'll be allergic to her own love. I can't stay mad at you. I mean, that could work. Thumbs up, Milkfish. Way to have a peel, Bacon Anna. Corned beef waffle, you've come a long way. Nick thinks plain old bread needs to step it up a notch. This bread is what it is, Nick. Bread keeps it real. Nick can dig that. Just be you, loaf of bread. This next one better work. If I get any more you, I might as well give up and marry your cat. Dr. Pert likes the bachelor life. Let's fump bread. It's forever ever time. A forever handhold! Trina, you don't look so good. Don't you like Krusty Nick Mallory? Redhead! <laughs> I'm allergic to Nick! Forever ever, Trina! Those lyrics I've had the whole time. Let's rock, Grajmans! One plus one, us two. Together it's true. Ooh, 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 ooh. You make me wanna smile every day. And I just gotta say, I just gotta say. Oh, let go of my hand, don't you understand? You make me wanna empty my guts. No ifs, ands, or buts. You're like a rotten egg steak or sardines and cake. For two hats of a Like ice cream and pickles, you make me sick 
again and this puke's gonna trickle out of my face all over the place we're too different to take up the same space <laughs> Uh, any requests? Fuse This has fused! It's doors shut after sickening patrons on opening night! DJ Fusion, any thoughts after creating four horrible monsters? DJ Fusion regrets only one thing! Opening a restaurant. I think we've learned a lesson. Some things aren't meant to go together. Sometimes, when you combine things, you lose what's good about both of them, and you end up sharing a butt with someone else. And there's nothing good about that. Dude, that was weird. Does he always give speeches? Yeah. Do you think we'll survive the diffusion process? Only one way to find out. Thanks for coming out, everyone.